Hello everyone, welcome to ASP.NET Masters and today I am going to teach you how to use textbooks watermark control in your web application. The watermark extender is attached to a textbooks control to get the watermark behavior and the typical use of the watermark extender is to show the extra information about textbooks to the user. So now I am going to add a new web form for textbooks watermark demo so I right click on this option and click on the add new item and select web form and give it name textbooks watermark extended demo and then click add button then ok and after that I use s2 tag for heading and I type textbooks watermark extended demo then I am going to use one more tag that is br which is used for break line and then I want to use the textbooks control in this page so I drag the textbooks control and now I want to use the textbooks watermark extender of the Ajax control toolkit so first of all I have to drag the control that is called toolkit script manager above the textbooks control and after that I click on this text box and want to add the textbooks watermark extender and so I have to click on this smart tag and then click on the option that is add extender and then I choose textbooks watermark extender and click ok now after adding the textbooks watermark extender to this textbooks control I have to set the properties regarding textbooks watermark so I have to right click on this textbooks and click on the properties and you will get the property named textbooks one underscore textbooks watermark extender so I expand this property and you have to write the watermark text that you want to apply on this text box so I type first name and also I want to show the watermark text in light gray color so I have to make one internal style sheet for this and so for making the style sheet internal style sheet for this page I am I have to click on the source view and in the content one portion I make one internal style sheet by type style type is equal to text CSS and in this internal style sheet I make one class for style so I type dot gray style and in this style I define the color of the con uh, color of the text that you want to apply on the text box so I type color gray 
and after making this internal style sheet I want to apply this style to the text box as a watermark so I have to click on the design and click on the right click on the text box and click on the properties and in this property I have to set the class name of the style sheet so I type gray style and now I run this application by pressing this button so you have seen the text box is by default filled with the first name as a watermark so when the user click on this text box so the watermark disappears and you will write the first name like Sam and if the user delete the content of this text box and so the watermark appears again so I hope you like this video tutorial and thank you very much.